Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing the octopus that at least four or five of my subscribers keep blowing me up to do. Um, so tell me, I know you're watching for this one, so look out for this recipe. So we're going to start by washing the octopus. Alright, the trick behind cooking octopus guys is the time. You have to let it boil for at least 45 minutes. So I'm going to prepare the water, it's already boiling. I'm gonna add a lemon, put in four wedge to the water. And then I'm gonna add some salt. So you make sure your tentacles go in. Pull them in for like five seconds. Then you pull them up. You see how short they get. You drop them there again. Another five seconds. Pull them up and you want them to curl. And then you just release the whole thing. You want to cover. Leave some space for the steam to come out. And you're gonna let that boil for at least 45 minutes. Okay, so while the octopus is going, we're gonna go ahead and prep the salad and the marinade. Because what you have to do is you have to cook it, then grill it, then you cool it down, then you marinate it. So we're boiling now. I'm gonna get the veggies ready for the salad I'm gonna be serving with it. Then we're going to grill it. And guys, these are all the veggies I'm going to be using for the salad. It's going to be arugula, onion, cucumber, carrots, and tomato. And I would really better Greek vinaigrette, if you want to call it that. I would say it's more of a lemon herb vinaigrette marinade for the octopus. I'm going to use the same marinade for the salad. All right, so let me just get these veggies cut. We have a lot of time to kill because we got to let the octopus boil for at least 45 minutes. So let's get cutting. I'm going to start by cutting the onion really fine. A little sneak peek we know we're close to being ready but just a little sneak peek so you guys see what's going on all right that's all the veggies that we cut and i'm going to go in and add the arugula guys arugula is going to give this a nice flavor looking for everybody in we're not going to add the dressing as yet because you know you don't want your salad to get soggy before you so while your salad is chilling let's review the dressing all right guys, I didn't want this video to be too long and drawn out, so I didn't I made the sauce from scratch, but I didn't need to do a video on how I made the sauce, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through it real quick. So we're gonna use olive oil, lemon juice in equal parts, parsley, chopped parsley fresh, garlic, salt and pepper, and some red crushed pepper. So half of this is gonna be for the marinade for the octopus, and like a teaspoon is gonna be in the salad. All right, and there's gonna be a recipe in the description and all of that for you guys to follow. All right, guys, it's been 45 minutes. Actually, it's been like 47 minutes, so we're squid is ready. Octopus. So we're gonna go ahead and take it from the hot water. And we're gonna go, if you have a grill, you go straight on the grill. I'm using a cast iron for this one. So this one's gonna get a nice hot sear. Then we cool this down, marinate it, and then we're ready to serve. All right, guys, we're gonna start with some olive oil. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna add a little squid. And some salt and pepper. Right 
down. All right, guys. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna let this sit in the fridge and you know cool down. All right, guys. Now that our octopus is chilled, let's go ahead and marinate this and cut it up and start making our salad. for a salad. This one is rubbing in really good. And for best result guys, you could let this sit and marinate in like a Ziploc bag. You could just cover the bowl in plastic and leave it in your refrigerator overnight. Yeah. But also one or two hours in this fine you still get your flavors all right so we're just gonna let this sit for a while in the refrigerator and we'll come back and cut it up all right so when you cut the octopus let's get the legs off you see how easy come off nice texture shouldn't be too hard and it shouldn't just fall off either This part is 100% edible, but I don't eat it, and it's not the best tasting part of the octopus. This part is. So what we do now, we cut these at a bias, like that, like that. You can add some more dressing, more the marinade to it. If it's fine, you could leave it as is. But we're gonna go ahead and we'll plate up our salad. All right, we're gonna start by adding our salad. Thank you. 